researchers at the University of California in Los Angeles are developing next-generation quantum sensors that Professor Prine Hanarang says will improve the precision of measuring what is happening in our air or water. Some things that can be early markers of bigger uh, problems, right? And that's really the name of the game in making decisions around human health in terms of responding to air quality changes. UCLA researcher Sergio Carbajo is focusing two ultra-precise laser beams on a molecule, reading its quantum characteristics or its unique signature of fingerprint, as he calls it, with a time and location stamp. You collect the hundreds or thousands of them that you have, and that's when you can begin to look for not only the individual information that you obtain, but the entire summation of that information when it's entangled, so that you can see correlated events. Because of quantum entanglement, a phenomenon when one photon knows of the existence of another, these sensors will be able to measure something miles away. When smog from Canadian fires descended on New York last summer, the researchers say sensors could have predicted in which areas of the city and for how long the smoke would stay, even down to specific contaminants. Scientist Dennis Kim says that's only the start. So one of the things that we can do with quantum sensors is detect changes in magnetic fields. So for instance, a lot of times when you have, even in earthquake country, where you have different earthquakes, so you can have a higher sensitivity, so we can kind of predict or kind of sense earthquakes before they happen. In the next 10 years, researchers expect these sensors will find even broader applications in climate science. Jenny Adulow, VOA News, Los Angeles.